Tere! Mukava olla Tallinnassa. Me haluaisin puhua Suomea, miten ymmärtäisitkö te? No, there are people okay. from Saturn. I'm a Finn, uh, actually. And uh, I live on the border of uh, the Finnish border, the Swedish uh, town of Haparanda and the Finnish town of Tornio. We are like this close. And uh, I will not talk about Haparanda Tornio actually today, but I want to mention, mention our cooperation, which is quite a unique cooperation uh, in many ways. What we like to, I love this picture because it's it's like turning the world upside down. <laughs> if you see yeah. Tallinn is in the north, when the south, you have to have real thinking in different areas among democracy and participation also. So uh, enough about that, so we got to, to the issue. Okay, we have done air petitioning two years now. We have some principles for our system, that our politicians have said, how we want to rig up the system. Everyone uh, uh, can create a petition. We have no geographical uh, restrictions or limits or age restrictions. So in theory, if you can finish a Swedish language, or maybe you can send an, a petition in English, you can send an English, uh, a petition to Aparanda. It's not only Haparanda citizens who can petition to our city. Of course, the petitions are published on a website. We also allow, allow paper uh, petitions, which we take and publish. We help people who don't use the web to get their petition on the web for the public to see. You can also sign the petitions in paper that bring the signatures uh, to us and we publish on the web signatures. Like I said, Haparanda is a special it's a border town and uh, a lot of our citizens, roughly half of our citizens, prefer to talk Finnish or present their case in Finnish. So we allow the petitioners to use Finnish or Swedish language. We have the system in Swedish and in Finnish, you can choose. I don't, think, I, I don't know if it, this is a reference to Estonia where you may, might have Russian minority. We have also a principle of, um, a very important principle uh, that if a petition gets more than 30 signatures, it gets on the politician's table. The responsible board will handle it and take it up and say, okay, it's, is this interesting or not? We'll take it and prepare it, send to the officials, when the officials prepare, then come back to decision making again on the politician's table. Uh, facts about our system then, uh, or our success or our um, achievements. Uh, we launched our system two years ago in November. Since then we have 54 petitions mm -hmm. published. <coughs> 23 of them, 54, have gotten more than 30 signatures and gone up to the politicians. Which uh, uh, 17 of those 30, uh, 23 are, have de been decided upon and 6 are in the process, still being prepared by the officials, to the politicians, to uh, make a decision. Of these 17, 4 of uh, them have gotten a yes, they have been accepted by the politicians. And 13 have been denied. The most popular petition uh, was a petition about um, fixing a new artificial turf for football. Got 294 signatures and was denied by politicians. Mm -hmm. But it got on the long term budget, mm -hmm. investment budget. So it might have had some effect on the priorities of the board. We have also, as I said, uh, it's not only Haparana citizens who can petition and signature, sign a petition. So we have had a couple of outside Haparana petition and signatures. Okay. 
lessons learned. We haven't done any scientific research or uh, uh, like that uh, surveys or something like that. This is my opinions and lessons that I have talked to the petitioners now and then have been contacted by or politicians have told me some uh, reflections uh, about our our uh, yeah, lessons learned. It's worthwhile before you um, start or launch a petitioning system to take time to plan it together with the politicians because it's a politician's tool. The politicians have to make the decision that, that we have, have to want to do this and why we want to do this. And the purpose of the system. It's not a system for our officials or bureaucrats, it's a system for politicians. I think that the most important fact of our achievement, if you can call that achievement or uh, like that, it's that we fixed the amount of signatures to trigger our political or decision-making progress, the 30 signatures. Because then we have stated to the uh, our citizens that if they collect a certain number of signatures, it will get to the politicians. It's not only on the website, and no one has, uh, no one looked at, look, looks at them. So the clear, clearly stated promise has been good. You should not um, forget the role of officials and bureaucrats. Can't call them bureaucrats, but uh, they are an important part of the issues making or preparing of a certain kind of uh, uh, of these uh, petitions or uh, citizens' suggestions. They are the the ones who prepare them, and uh, it can take time. If you don't have them on board, and uh, they are informed and take their responsibility, so the petitions get prepared and takes a long time and uh, the citizens get frustrated. You should also have a clear owner of the system in the organization. For example, haunting down these officials who don't prepare these in time, these petitions. We had a very much a uh, very good interest in the beginning. We got a lot of petitions when we start started, but then it has like, decreased all the time. And this is a good question, how do we keep this system alive in people's mind? And they are very aware of it. And uh, do we have a long-term marketing strategy? Do you have a budget, money for these resources? We have no answers in Haparan. Uh, we have, like all municipalities, we have not have, don't have money in large amounts. That <coughs> it's a risk if we just launch it and let it be. So something has to be done, and you, you should you should think about this. Then there are some technical uh, lessons about elderly people. They are not so used to spam protection captures. These letters that are swaying. Uh, we have had no crazy people. There were a little bit of concerns with the politician that if we launch the system, then we get mm, lots of crazy ideas or crazy people in the system. We have had not that because in our system you have to register by your name. You have to, be, <laughs> you have to uh, petition by your name. It's public. So no Donald Duck or something like that. Uh, uh, petitioners. Citizens' reactions then. As I said, these are my reflections that I have come by talking to these people who have used this, this system. 
there's of course the satisfaction that we have this channel. It's a new channel among others. It's a complement to others, others, uh, other ways of uh, influencing. People are happy that they can speak out, have their say. And when people get no, they accept it if this is argumented. Not just saying no, we don't like your petition or something. It has been argumented. It has to be argumented. People accept it. There have been uh, cases also when people told me that they understand better the petitions and making process when I have seen their petition go to the politicians, to the officials, back then, back and forth, and then be decided upon. Our bilingual system has been appreciated by the Finnish speaking population of our city. Then there is this frustration in long preparing times. People demand answers quite fast nowadays. They don't want to want, wait for their case to be solved or decided upon. So in, in summary, our experiences or our status in Haparana concerning our system is that it is an um, established way, a new way to in influence uh, among others. It's no drama, it's no hype, it's a quite established way, actually. And that's maybe good enough. I will stop there. <laughs>